welcome back and I'm here with my shabby chic book hardcover that I've created in my last video I I inserted the signatures and showed you what was inside so today's venture is basically adding the luscious cover lacy cover I pretty much have an idea where I'm going with it but it's taken me all this time because I've never made one with so much lace on it so I've been poking prodding rearranging omitting adding trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do and I was going to use a picture of my mom because this this book is pretty much uh, a dedication book a memory book that I want to keep my memories with my mom in so I'm going to be adding pictures inside of it also and other little tidbits that I find in my hope chest or that I can obtain from my my sister but I'm not going to use that on the front I had made a little frame for it but unfortunately and then I went to Walgreens and had the picture downsized but it does not fit in there I want her whole face to show so I'm going to find a special place in the book to add that and I've already gone ahead and I added this material on it because it's not the focal point but I do want the material to pop out in other words able to be seen through the lace I don't want the pink the pink flowers covered because she loves flowers and I've put it down with the clear tacky glue and it's an all-purpose all purpose adhesive it dries clear and it's kind of sticky for me <laughs> I have also the glitter glue and I've also been using as I always mention my Elmer's extra strength craft bomb glue which is a lifesaver and what I did was I pretty much I didn't sew and maybe that's one thing I regret that maybe I should have taken the material and created my design on it and just cut out and then place but I wanted to give the material a finished edge without having to sew it so you don't pretty much to show that you don't need a machine in order to put the material down if you don't have one it just it does cover the the string from the signatures but also the lace will be covering that too and as far as a dangle I'm gonna wait a little bit on that I'm not sure what I'm gonna put there if I even want to dangle something from there because I know the front is gonna have so much on it and I'm gonna go light on the back so that when I have my book lay, uh, resting anywhere and I grab it to create or what I'm gonna do in it I don't want bulk in the back I've done it before and it's just it is uncomfortable and if this gets bulky I'm gonna I might have a hard time working in it maybe maybe not I've had I have so many books that do have a uh, crocodile mouth alligator mouth I'm not sure what they call it I call it an alligator mouth where it opens up with so much stuff inside of it I would I, I tell myself I'm gonna try my best not to crowd the book and I end up doing it anyway so I've gotten, I've got a bunch of la my lace, most of all this uh, lacy ribbon. Uh, this one I threw, no, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby. I've got so many from Hobby Lobby and I'm not going to use all these. These are pretty. These are only like half a yard of each one between two to two to three dollars, depending on the day and the sale. If there's a 40% off, I don't see 50% off there anymore. And this one's really beautiful, which might go inside. I'm not going to put it on the outside. I pretty much my outside to have like a creamy effect. I didn't coffee dye any of this stuff. So I found this one thrifting, which is going to go on there. These here have these stains, permanent stains, because I've washed this and washed it and they won't come out. So, and I'm okay with that. That, that, that's what gives the book. It's sort of antique feel, even though it's not antique. So I've cut pieces out of um, lacy placemats that I've managed to thrift also from different thrift stores. I go to wherever, antique malls. I've never been to an estate sale, maybe one day. And I've taken one and split it in half. So just come on along, but I'm gonna go through the process with you. So without further ado, let's get this going. I already started the top part of the lacy ribbon and I did use the tacky glue. So I will show you what I did because I do want another piece on the bottom part. And the one thing I am baffled by is I'm 
I went ahead and cut this and I shouldn't have had because I'm assuming that on the roll, the top part is the right part. I'm assuming. And I can't distinguish, to tell you the truth, bottom to top. So it's going down as is. <laughs> so what I did with the top part is I went ahead and first just put the lace ribbon where I, where I wanted it. And I've only added a dab underneath each each one of these ridges here, each one, to hold it down. So this one up here, that's it's only being held down by glue under these little peaks up on the top. So that's what I'm gonna do on the bottom also. And then basically, once I've added the glue to that, and you don't need much. There's going to be, as the layers go on, there will be more glue that's going to seep into the bottom of what you're creating. So it'll all hold together. I promise you that. So then once I have that done, what I did was I just started to bring a line of group across the top to hold the edges down carefully so that I don't move the lacy ribbon and this glue works pretty pretty good so that's down and if it comes out on the edge I can cut it down a little bit but once I fold the book it might um, shrink in and then I just go in the side corner and that's pretty much it for the first piece that I put down just being very careful not to pull the lace from where I, I, I placed it. So if I were to take the book and bend it, there's no buckle there. It lays down very neatly. And then when you come back up, it has space in there to, well, I don't know what you call that. It's like in the cold weather when the, oh, to expand, like when the wood expands there's space in there to, for the ribbon not to, to pull or tear or pull the material off the book. And I'm okay with this showing here. I don't have an issue with that. I know I could have done it differently, but, and I've seen several videos. I am honest about that. I needed some, it's not ideas because I don't want my book to look like everybody else's. I just needed some inspiration and I will link below the videos that I watched so I can give credit to those people who did inspire me. So let's see if I can remember how I had this. So I took these two and I pretty much gave them a zigzag stitch on that. You don't have to, the glue works pretty well. And I'm not gonna cut the edges because I think I'm gonna overlap these on the inside. Not sure I was gonna add a pocket inside, but I have no idea if that's what I'm going to do, so. Here we go. I'm just gonna do this. I'm not going to overdo it. This dries very well on there. I'm excited about this book. So there we go. And if I do overlap it, this is what it will look like here and I thought if I leave that there I, I I won't if I put a pocket I'm pretty much going to cover this gorgeous lace here and I don't want to do that but if I overlap it here I can use some kind of a dangle I will come up some, with something so that's how I want it to look and I'm here with my tape on the table so I'm not out of frame <laughs> so let's see here I am going to add a little bit of this not necessary but I, it's not going to show that much. I wanted to add a little more on the spine. It, you can see it. So I'm just going to put a line of glue down that way. How are you guys? Let me know what you think in the comment, comments below. Hit that notification button so you can be notified of my next video. Click that like, like button and subscribe to my channel. More is coming. I have a lot of ideas and things that I'll be sharing. 
So I, I'm bringing it down just a little bit, but I don't want it to cover the, well, some of it's gonna get covered anyway. But I have some extra lace that's gonna look really pretty on this. Okay, let's work on the back first. I'm gonna put this down here. So, and I'm not gonna glue it all just in the center because I don't know if I wanna add more in the back or not, but eventually you will see as this journal takes, takes its character, personality, or whatever you wanna call it. I'm just excited about it. Okay, let's get this in the middle, right there. Do yourself, do the, put on your journal what you like. And then I'm going to put this heart here because she is my heart, always has been, always will be. Love my mama, I'm sure we all do. And then I'm just gonna sort of poke on it like this and the glue is, is attaching to it. I just don't want it get it too wet on my fingers. Okay, I could have coffee dyed this one, but I decided to leave it as is, just so they have a little bit of a antique white, I guess this is, a creamy white on there. Okay, on that side, that's pretty much all I wanted to add, and I did want to add a flower that I have, and I went ahead, it's a, I think it's a pearlized button given also by my adoptive mom who gave me sent me a bag a big bag of so many buttons from Connecticut and washed them really well and I have them in jars so I am gonna add the flower there I want that in the middle I probably could have added another I don't want too much white I veer from a lot of white so I think I'm gonna go with that there and now, let's get this cover beautified. Let's see where this is gonna go. Okay, so I've taken this little snippet that I made in a previous, in, previously, I made several. So I just took this uh, snippet and added a blue material in the background because it's my favorite color. And I actually sewed the doily onto that to reinforce it because I added this little dangle on there, which I've had in a little drawer there for quite some time. I made several of these knowing that I eventually would use it at some point. And this little one right here is part of an earring that I made my mom a long time ago. And I added that there. So I thought it looked cute. So let me get this down on there. And this video is not going to take long, at least I don't think so, because I've already chosen methodically and precise, precisely how I wanted it to look. So, and maybe someday I'll sit down and do one of those videos where I just go with whatever. But this one, I didn't want to make this one like that, so... And then I'm gonna turn it around and let's see if we can get this on there. It's gonna go right here. So the spine starts here and this is going to pop out, but I'm okay with that. I can cut it if I choose to, I don't have to. I just, I gotta make sure that this is centered. I think so. Tell me what you think. Let me see, is that right? I think it looks straight enough. The majority of the books that I saw did have their pictures in the front, but they don't necessarily have to have a picture in the front is what I thought. So let me make sure I have the pieces that I'm going to use here. I took these two pieces since some of the lace is going to cover up what's on the bottom and the top on this side and i'm going to add those there i don't know if i want to add any of this here 
do I want to add it there? I mean, it looks cute. Oh, I think I can, no, I don't want to cover that pink. Although it's going to be seen here and on the spine and it'll be peeking out on the sides. Hmm, should I or should I not? You know what? I'm going to go with it. Well, I have to just lift this up a little bit and go underneath. And I'm not going to glue it completely in case I choose to add something else underneath. Let's go with it and see how that works out once I add all the pieces in there. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. There we go. So, do I add another one under here? Oh, you know what? I really didn't need to add that there, so maybe I can move it over on this side. Possible? Let's see. Of course, because there's something else going to go there. Okie dokie, here we go. As I tell my granddaughter and she cracks up. Okie dokie. Or oopsie daisy. She's so funny. She cracks up at grandma. Um, okay, so I am going to add that there. I think it looks cute. It's not what I had planned, but let's go with it. I mean, more lace, prettier, daintier, more shabby, I guess. And I know it's covering this, but what I sewed will will work. Will will show what's underneath. It will complement it, in other words. So I'm just going to do this for now to hold it down. And as you can see, the glue is going to go down through the bottom lacy river river. <laughs> the bottom ribbon, so that'll hold it tight. Then what I wanted to add here is these two pieces because I did want to uh, complement this with a little bit of white over here so this I also want to add under there and bring it down oh that looks cute there I'm gonna bring it this way just a tiny bit more there we go and I'll add more glue under there what a process, my friends. Okay, that one went on top of this one. Okay. Let me get this right. I was upstairs earlier, and I was thinking, let me ask all of you, because I was thinking of a challenge, but my challenge is not go going to be my idea. I want to know if there was anyone out there that that came up with some sort of idea of a themed journal that they would like to see me create, and I will give that a go. So leave a comment below if you so choose to, and I will give that a go. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'll probably dab here to hold that in place and also here and on this side this I didn't want to I shouldn't have had too much glue there okay so what I'm going to do here now let me get this under there quick so that the glue does not dry I wanted this here and let's push it in okay and it's going to bulk a little bit, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. And it will hang over just a little bit. I've seen some with so much lace hanging over it. And I could have tried that, but I'm going to go with this. Under the white. And I'm going to pull it up. It's still sticky. And bring this one over. Because I want it to be reminded of the underneath lacy ribbon that I have under there. So, September is almost upon us, my friends. Time seems to be going by really, really fast. Weather's changing. I don't even, I don't even think the summer, felt like summer this year. And this, I'll have to go under here. 
and there we go that's all i wanted there and i can also do the same thing to hold it down come on glue okay put these little dabs of glue under there to hold it in place there we go and it will not come off i have not had a book fall apart yet and that's pretty much Let's see here. I don't know where the lid went. Okay, like a lot of things, they disappear. And I did want to add a flower in the front. So what I've added here is little blue buttons that I found in my collection. And I was thinking maybe... Okay, where did you go? Maybe to add this there. I don't know. I can still add it. There's going to look really cute and add something inside, but I'm not going to do that now because I want this all to dry. So I'm going to add a second flower. I don't... Oh, here's the cat. I don't know if I should add a big flower here. I don't care too much for this, but since I sewed it together, I can add that one there and maybe this one on the top. I don't know what do you think hmm let me see let me lift it up just a little bit I like the way it looks or should I switch and put the bigger one up here or down here no I think that's you know what I'm just gonna go with a big and a little one there for now and if I choose to add that other one later this is the issue that I had while I was trying to rearrange all the lace not sure where this was going to go, where that was going to go. Um, here. I think that looks cute. I'll add both big ones there. I'm going to add that one there. And then this little one, I'll probably... Not sure yet. Oh. Decisions, decisions. Maybe put it there. I can always slide something back there and then thought of putting the little flower there. How does that look? A little too much or no? I'm gonna have to decide on that one later. But so far I have the what I what I basically want down on my book and now I just have to let it dry. I'm gonna let this dry and then the next thing would be is to work on the inside. And I know the glue looks wet now, but that's gonna that's gonna dry. I had gotten this also from Hobby Lobby, and that's gonna be for the inside. And this one too, I thought was really cute. And like I said, 40% off of that. But it's quite a bundle in there. So that could have went on there too. And as I look at it, that would even look nice on the inside as a banner type thing. So I'm not sure. I have this here that I've that I got a hobby lab a long time ago. I took the this part up because it was bulky and I didn't know whether to add that there too. And now that I'm looking at it, it might look great on there too. Just hang it underneath a little bit. Not sure, not sure, not sure. As I was working on it, I noticed that even though the glue dries clear, the tacky glue. It sort of leaves a mark there, which I don't like, but lesson learned. And the idea that I came up with as I was working on these, on this, with these two little flaps came a little later after the book was dried. I kept thinking, what else can I do to this book to, to make it look even a lot prettier with this ribbon here, this lacy ribbon. It gave me an idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add it under here. And for that reason, nothing up here is permanent, permanently down in case there's actually anything else I would like to add in there. But I'm, this time I'm going to use the, the art glitter glue because that does not dry shine. I can still see like little dots of shininess. It's not a big deal, but... So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this here and you're going to see what I came up with. I was gonna bring it down, but I'm gonna put it right there. 
and this is gonna look so pretty and I think I'm gonna have to bring it up just a little bit more because I want it centered on here and as I I'm going to flip this book over I like this and just wrap this around he oops let me do that again it's a little fumble but that's okay let me bring this up just where was it okay right here <laughs> of course I guess you just got to press down a little longer so that it stays there and I can do that it's really nice I like that of course I'll be adding it inside the book in different places now let me grab this tight as I open here and the idea of a belly band came to mind which I thought perfect and maybe I can add this clip here to hold it in place so that as I work on this it'll stay there let me flatten that so it doesn't get in my way oh I think that's so pretty and then I can cut it here and then add something right behind that band. Perfect. So I want it as snug as possible and I'm going to have to cut that heart probably right here. First cut I've made today. So what I'm going to do is I want to get in the exact spot. And now that I'm thinking too, you can put a ribbon right through here, pretty thin ribbon, let a bow hang down, which even if I glue it down, I can still work with that. I can still do that just using a needle and thread if I choose to, but it will be perfect. So I'm going to pull on this and I hope I'm in the center. And of course, I'm going to have to hold that for a sec. This glue works really, really well, too. I'm also going to use this picture in there, too. I don't know how I'm going to use them in there, but I know I will get some idea on that. And still pressing just a little bit. This will look cute in there, but it's too thick. I like the, the contrast in the greens, but you'll find that this here has some of this sage green in it also. This is sage green. And I could use that, and I will in the book itself. Keep creating. Those ideas will come. Look at that. Perfect. I can add something here too, beautify it with some type of a flat die cut or something and the creation continues so i'm gonna pull this off so that you can see wrapping wrapping it around like that also gives it a finished edge here so that is what i'm going to do with the front also and i need to turn that around i'm working in a small space so tends to get a little crowded in here with my stuff, but I manage perfectly well. Okay, I have the dangle there and that's not gonna be an issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath. This one's gonna have to go under. Well, this is sewn on there. Oh no, here we go, good. I thought I sewed it on there, but I did not. I had glued it on. Okay, let's get that on there. And this is, wait, let me get that right. So I'm putting the top on and not the bottom. Here we go. That can go right there. And that's the metal. Wonderful. Let me hold that down just for a sec and then hold it down. You have glue there now be nice and stay down 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. I will put the clip on there so it glues down. And then I'm going to turn the book around carefully. I take care of all my books. I have them placed somewhere where they will not get ruined, messed up, or break. Oh, look at that. Lovely. I am liking it. So I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to cut about right there and put a little bit of glue right here. And oh, I can just see I have some pretty uh, cards. Uh, paper studio cards with roses on it. I could just see one flapped over this. Uh, oh, I already had the idea for it to put the picture. Oh, I love it. And then gem dots can go on here. Pearl gem dots. I have some pearls here that I actually took apart and put on this um, stretchy thingy here. I don't know how, but I will. Just pressing a little harder so it doesn't come loose. And if it does, I can always go back and add a little more glue. But for now, that is it. Look at that. It's all dried. I'm loving this. Added that, and if I want, I can go ahead in and add some die cuts or whatever I'd like. Look at that gorgeous tabs. I can add other tabs in there, two cloth tabs, pieces of all of this stuff in there also. Spine. Oh, I'm in love with it. And maybe a dangle. I'm not sure because I really like the way it looks as is. And open it. There's the belly band. Open the other side. And there is the belly band, which I'm going to have to hold down a little longer. But that's okay. And that is it, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to those who are new. Thank you for supporting my channel. And till next time, God bless you. Have a good one.